call me Bob because that's not my name. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go uh, take a jaunt around the yard on the new CRF 450RL. Uh, just real quick to go through uh, what I've done to it so far. Uh, i got the hand guards on um, and the seat concepts seat. Uh, the other one was a little bit narrow and not very comfortable. It's a little bit more comfortable for longer rides, um, although the other seat is really nice for doing technical stuff and getting up and down and moving around and being agile on the bike, but it's just not very comfortable for uh, any long ride. Anyway, so far that's pretty much it. Um, I have a Takomoto Get ECU. Um, I'll be putting in this and some reinforcement plates for the radiators and that's pretty much it so anyway i just wanted to get out today and um run around the yard a little bit and just kind of show you what it's like i know there's like 400,000 videos out here on these bikes but none of them are mine so let's go I didn't even didn't even have my helmet strapped. All right, guys. So all in all, the bike with the stock ECU is not bad. And actually, I'll say that these you know a lot of people dog these tires, and uh, 
tires are variable man tires and it all depends on the train that you're riding on and the conditions of that train and i they're not they're probably not the best tires and they're okay on the road um and they actually don't do too bad out here on this hard pack it's they're sticking better than the uh those uh shanko tires did on my 650 so um they're they're honestly not that bad you you, you might not be able to corner these as quick as some other tire but like I said, that all depends on the terrain and the conditions of the soil that you're riding on. So, you know, don't listen to all the haters out there. Uh, they're not bad tires, especially not bad for dual sport. Uh, the bike overall, um, ECU, I know people complained about the flame outs, and I've experienced that a couple times. Uh, keep in mind, I think there's a lot of guys that get on these bikes and expect to just get on them and go, and they don't really have any experience. Um, so they really struggle with it. They would, they would struggle with anything else anyway. Um, Although the you know in a, a new ECU which I have and I, and I will put in um, should should uh, help with that situation especially for the guys that like to do a lot of slow stuff um, technical stuff that's you are going to run into to issues with the flame out but like around here and I can stand and work the clutch and and get it to go without flaming out so all in all out of the factory it's a decent bike um, some modifications it can be a great bike but it all depends on the rider and and your conditions so. Take it all with a grain of salt. Anyway, that's it for today. Remember, if you're driving on across riding trails, bob and weave.